What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gimme here, bringing another part of Red Dead Redemption. So, if ready, I'm ready, time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna be bringing another part of Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. This is a classic game, so um, uh, I know a lot of you probably already saw this game. And I just felt like playing a second playthrough of the game. Uh, not caring as much, but still trying to do as best as I can to stay on the good side. So we'll keep going in our adventure in the wild west of New Austin or whatever the hell they call it. So let's go. Yeehaw. Come on, buddy. There you go, lawman. Alright. What the fuck? Motherfucker just killed him. He just... He, I brought him to that prisoner and I took my time and he just shot them. What kind of lawman is that? One lazy son of a bitch, that's what he is. Jesus Christ. Sorry, partner. See? Old habits die hard, that's all there still are. Fucking people are tied down, can't do shit, then they still beat them half the time. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fucker, fuck, God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Don't fall off. To Armadillo! Godspeed! What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. My God! They come back and finish me off! It got me! For the love of God, stick to the road! Armadillo! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The 
scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. They're still coming! Make sure you stay on the road! I don't know how much I can take right now! Leave the driving to me. I'll go as easy as I can. We can make it. Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. You're nearly there. Me into your arms. <laughs> you need more than a doctor, my friend. Come on. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. <laughs> I owe you, sir. Uh, and I always pay my debts. Uh, uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. All right. As long as there's some shoot thing involved. That doesn't help nothing. Hey, wait up! All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Let's go. All right, let's go. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. It's gonna be a massacre. right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Took us hostage. 
They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> God darn it. Hasn't gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. in the back as soon as it looks clear. to stop me <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you but I will you always did have a high opinion of yourself John <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch I guess he was about right get him boys everybody take cover in that shed Going down. Over here. Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. You want to stop doing that? God damn right, whoa.
Hey, look what I got here. There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. All right. That's not good. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next lucky bear. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get out from there. You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Deputy, make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. You goddamn right. We'll make sure everything's all good and dandy. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. Let's go, Marshal. <laughs> John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Wait. Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Yeehaw. Not supposed to be killing a bird. Where are you? 
God damn it. Oh, fuck. God damn, that was close. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Oh, Marcy. There. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> all right guys that's gonna be it for red dead redemption hopefully you guys are enjoying this classic once again uh i'm enjoying it a lot uh, i think i'm discovering new stuff that i haven't done before i think last time i played i think bonnie can actually die if you don't you're not fast enough if i remember correctly but anywho i saved her this time around and uh Except for that man that was being hanged, and uh, I thought I uh, thought I had to cut him down like Bonnie, but no, I have to I actually had to shoot the 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 wire down, and then you had that fucked up lawman. Then I brought a brought a hog hog tied two two people for him, and he just fucking he just fucking killed them. I was like, what the? F <laughs> anyway, that was really enjoyable. It brings back old memories, and I can't wait to play the new one. I think I'm gonna say that every time I'm playing Red Dead. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below what's your favorite memory from Red Dead Redemption, this one here, and uh, what you can't wait to see in the new Red Dead, of course, tell the, you can also tell me that in the comments below. Follow me everywhere, me, Tom Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash me, Tom Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thanks so much guys for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.